My name is Casas of Vlogs, and today we are going to be watching some teens in Milwaukee steal a vehicle and was dumb enough to actually record themselves, you know, for the clout. You guys know, for the addiction, for the stuff that teenagers have to go through, unfortunately, in this time and age, the internet, right? So, any person with common sense would be like, don't, you know, record your crimes. But in this day and age, it, it gets you clout. And if you go to jail, and if you go to prison, hey, I was that guy who stole that car. You'll still have that bragging right while you're rotting in a cell, eating like, I don't know, you know, all these potato chips or something like that. So without further ado, we're gonna be getting into this video and figuring out exactly why do these teens steal this car? What type of car is it? My money is on a Dodge of some sort, preferably a Charger, cause my blacks, we love our Chargers. Not me, I upgraded to the Challenger. I'm a little bit higher, right? I upgraded to the Challenger, but we love our Dodge products, ultimately. It's gonna be some type of Dodge. I can almost promise you that. I've never seen the video before, but I'm putting my money on a Dodge. Let me know what you guys think it is before we actually figure out what type of car it is. Comment below what you guys think it is. Is it a Dodge, is it a Chevy? What vehicle, what model, what make? I want to know, guys. But yeah, we're gonna get more contacts on this. But before we start, guys, if you guys are new to this channel, you guys like this type of content, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call YouTube. Without further ado, we're gonna be getting into this and figure out exactly what car it is, why they stole it. Let's get into it. Oh, I'm ready, boy. Look like some type of um, Chrysler. No, that's like an SUV. It has a hatchback in the back. That's a Durango. Durango? No. That's like a Chrysler. What is that? It might be a Durango. No, it's not a Dodge. What is that? Music going in now, boy. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's definitely not a Dodge. Real hood, baby. Ooh. Ooh, real hood, baby. They got the, they got their drinks in there and stuff. Ooh, they coming. Turn off that recording. Turn off that recording. He sounded like Ray J. Whoa, they crashed? Yo, hold up. <laughs> they crashed? Hold up, hold up. Yo, I'm like shocked. Yo, they crashed to a light pole? Turn off that recording. Hold up. They crash? That was an SUV. That was like a Chevy. Oh, dang. Bro. I don't believe in karma, but that's karma right there. Why would you try to outrun the cops? What an SUV out of all things. What idiots. Now you're not playing that music anymore. Reality hit them. You need the only way to run outrun a cop, not saying that you should, you need at least like a high four second car, like a 4.8 car, 4.7 car, otherwise you're not running out running the cops. You don't need a Hellcat, but you definitely need like a, a car that can run like four 4.8 at least. Jeez. Eight of our cards are all fucked. Wow. I'm gonna give you guys my uh, final thoughts. All right, you guys, my final thoughts on this whole stupid thing. First of all, if you're trying to be a criminal, don't take advice from these individuals. It took one out of three to figure out, stop recording. The fact that they were recording at all was just stupid, right? Not only that, but the fact that they're living, having live stream. I'm not trying to aid people into stealing vehicles. I'm just saying the stupidity. Like, you have to use common sense if you're going to be a crook, right? 
they're live streaming, the police can just simply get in contact with, with Instagram, right? Because she's obviously on Instagram, get in contact with Instagram and literally track them down through a live recording. Like the police is probably watching the recording like, all right, they're going over there. They just look back. You know what I mean? Like, are you guys that stupid? <laughs> Teenagers today are just worthless, man. Not all, not all, but most, they're all worthless. And of course, as black people, you know, have to be thieves and black people gotta steal the vehicle. At least it wasn't a Challenger or a Dodge product. I will give them that. They resisted the temptation of the horsepower, allegedly at least. And, uh, you know, they, they had some type of Chevy. It seemed like a Chevy Equinox or something like that, but if you're gonna steal a car, I mean, I'm not, you know, saying you should, but if you're gonna steal a car, at least steal a car that's nice looking, at least steal a car you can't afford, not an Equinox, an Equinox is only like 30K, man. It's not that dang expensive. At least steal a car you can't afford, right? Don't don't steal whatever that was. I, that, I mean, it has some nice leather seats, don't get me wrong, but you can get leather seats in all types of trims. You can get an old Mercedes with leather seats, you know? There was nothing special there. But um, yeah, these guys are morons. These people are absolute nincompoops, idiots, buffoons, etc. you know, um, I guess I'm glad they survived, this is gonna do, go back into their ways, right, so I, I don't know how much that's worth, but they're just worthless individuals, um, very dumb, right, if you're gonna steal a car, like I said, don't take advice from these people, man, just don't do it, uh, don't steal a car at all, but don't do it, um, just, just don't, don't do it, okay? But uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty much my final thoughts for this, guys. I thought this would be a funny video to record for you all, just so you guys can see all the theft that's going on. I personally thought it was gonna be a Dodge Challenger. I've been kind of building up on that so you guys can kind of get awareness for my Dodge guys out there to make sure you guys protect your vehicles because it happens so often. Me being a Dodge guy myself, I'm just like, <sighs> as sick as me when I see black people still uh, from other black people. It just bothers me personally, man, you know? But anyway, guys, those are my final thoughts. I don't know what you guys' final thoughts are. What do you guys think about this whole thing? Do you guys think it was smart, it was dumb? Do you guys think that it was justifiable how they crashed? Or was it the synthesis and the simacy on how they, they so hard just happened to crash while white cops were pursuing them? Let me know in the comments below. But before you guys go, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys like this type of content, Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call you. So without further ado, this will be it for the video. Remember, I'm Eric, I'm just confident, and thank you for watching.